Hello, welcome to another Hastify video. In this video, we will uh, build a very simple website change detection software, which also has email notification. So it constantly monitors for changes on a web page and sends you an email once a change is detected. Now this is most commonly used by e-commerce sellers for competition price monitoring. So in our case, we are going to keep things simple. Uh, so what we are going to do is, you might already know that the Pixel 7 from Google was released uh, a few days before and it's currently out of stock in India and so if we open the Pixel 7 page, it has the notify me button. But if we go to another product which is already available like the Pixel 6a, there are a buy and add to cart buttons. So let's build a solution which will constantly monitor this page to see whether the product is back in stock or not. So this can be done in a variety of ways. So as I said before in this example, we are going to keep things simple. What we are going to do is we are going to read the complete HTML of this page and we are going to decide whether the item is in, is in stock or not depending on the notify beam button. So if if the HTML has the notify me text within it, we will assume the product is unavailable, otherwise it will be available. So let's uh, fire up uh, Visual Studio Code and start our product project. So we are going to use the Axios library uh, to create HTTP request to uh, the page URL. So we will have to install Axios. And this is the page URL which, are, which we are going to monitor. And to read this page, we are going to use axios.get URL of pixel. And if uh, the call succeeds, we'll get a result. And we are just going to log the result.data, which will be the HTML code. Otherwise, if there is an error, we will log the error. So let's run this by calling node app.js. So what we have obtained is the HTML code uh, of this page. So in the next step, we're going to search whether this contains the notify me text which we need and print out a message based on that. So if rest.data includes notify me, then we will log item is available, is not available, else item is available. So since currently the product is out of stock, so it prints out item is not available. 
So to test whether it works on pages where item is in fact available, let's try it on another page, the 6A page, which is currently in stock. And we'll change the URL to 6A and again run it. And here it says item is available. So our very simple change detection which will you know monitor for changes in availability of the product is working. So now we will need to run this periodically. So for that we will move this to a function. And then we will call this function periodically using the JavaScript set interval method. And let's call this every 10 seconds. So that is 10,000 milliseconds. And now if we run this, the program will check for availability every 10 seconds and should print out a message whether the item is available or not. Now the next thing which we need to add to the solution is to send us an email notification once the product becomes available. So for that we are going to use a node mailer. So let's bring in not mailer. Let's install the package. Okay, so let's add the code which will connect with our email server and send messages. So we are, going to go, we are going to connect to the SMTP server. So you will need to have all the details which you need to connect to the SMTP server which would be the server address, a port, username and password. So we will write another function to configure mail and this will create a transport and return that transport object and it will be using this object that we will be sending the mails and this would need the host so this would be something like smtp.mailserver.com so you should be getting this from your uh, your mail servers uh, ISP and port would be so now we provide the authentication details which is the username and password so I'm just filling in dummy values here you should fill the correct values for the configuration to work and to send emails. So the reject unauthorized under TLS is uh, to ignore any certificate errors when we are trying to send emails. So now we will create another function called send mail and it will have the parameters to which will be the, the email address to which we are sending the message and subject and the text 
the text will be the content, the mail message. So we will get the transport object first by you know calling configure mail and we'll create an email object now which which is the email which will be sending and this object will contain a from address which you can specify mail at mail.org so again you will need to furnish correct values and two is the true address so this is actually two two but javascript allows you to write it like this when uh, the name and the variable name are the same and we will follow it with subject and text so this is our email object and we can now call transport dot send mail email object and it returns it takes a function as a callback so it contains error and info and if there is an error we will know whether the sent uh, failed so if there is an error we will just log console dot log sending email failed otherwise we will just assume that email has been sent so notification email sent and in which case we will also close the transport transport dot close so once the item becomes available we will send mail and we will have to specify the email address to which we are sending this mail and the subject will be product is now available and we can specify the text body of the message item is available okay so now let's run this by calling node app.js so since we have given the pixel 7 uh, url uh, the send mail call will not be called because the item is not available but let's just stop this and change the url to 6a so that it is available so this function will be get will get called when we run the code so this is an error case because we have given invalid values for most of uh, the mail server parameters so sending email should fail so you, you get the message sending email failed now if you give correct values for the host port and username and password the sending email will succeed and you will get a mail uh, with the notification that the item is available so I have now uh, provided the correct uh, values for connecting to my SMTP server so of course I won't be able to I won't be able to show it obviously but I will now run uh, the program again So now you can see that the, when the item is available, the email is sent without any problem and you will get the notification. So I hope you find this video useful. In case you have any questions, please let me know. Please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you.